Hello. Hello and welcome. And welcome. Welcome to what, Connor? Welcome to what? It was working a second ago. Oh, you, you put your mics on mute again. No, I shouldn't have. I'll say one minute. Bear one with minute. us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... Uh... Why is this doing this? Disabled. What have you done, mate? Not disabled. Um, ready, Chief. Can anyone hear us? What? Get in the chat. Let me get into the chat. Get in the chat, mate. Get in there. Start telling everybody. Um, give us some pretty waves whenever you can. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they you can. Made... We can hear. They can hear. They can okay. hear us. Can? Oh. So, what are you talking? So, lead us in, Connor. Oh, oh yeah. you Here's just can't. Your... <laughs> Here's, Here's the lead in. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're bullying now, and we're here with Matt and Con and Con. Con. Welcome to Con. myth. Finally here. He's real. Exist. He exists. How's it going, mate? <laughs> Good. How's your uh, How's your morning been, Con? Oh, yeah, processing a few orders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so we we hear we hear that you might have uh, have joined the Bullion Now team. Yeah, I might have done that. What yeah. was the giveaway, Connor? <laughs> <laughs> for me, it, for me, it was the shirt. Yeah, the shirt color. Yeah, good lead in. Audio, but on Connor's level, way high. Yeah, okay. Calm yourself down, Connor. I'm, I'm calming. I'm calming down. How's though. Con's levels? Con, I think I think Con's good. Con and yeah. Connor, yes. Stephen Bayes uh, pointed out the the obvious difficult situation we've got ourselves into now. There's Con and Connor on board. Yeah, I never thought about that, but so far so good. You Absolutely, know? we haven't been confused yet. C one and C two says odd job. Yeah, nice. Oh, <laughs> one of them starts with a K, so. Oh, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah, ooh. yeah. There is a clear distinction to be had there. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. That is it. So um, let's let's get started with. Uh, did anybody in chat add to their stack this week? And uh, and what if you did? What did you add? Can't hear Con. I knew it. You need to get closer to the mic, Con. All right. You're out of control, mate. Right. Well, I'm not too really, relaxed. I'm not really in showbiz <laughs> just yet. So I'll we'll, give it time. We'll get you know? there. By the end of this, you'll be all over it, mate. E, e- waste Ben is in the chat, and he's saying, "Oh, e waste Ben, e waste Ben, a legend." Yes. I've watched a few <laughs> a celebrity visits. among us. Yeah. What a guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, we we got we got a threat from um from Mono here. Start talking gold and silver. Oh, I'm off. Well, let's let's dive in. What what what's silver doing right now? Apparently some some movement there real quick. It's been a bit of a dip in the market. Yeah, just a whiz, yeah. Is that, that was a bit of excitement in the uh, morning meeting. Um, generally, it's uh, throughout the day we'll be checking spot periodically for various reasons, uh, buybacks and processing of orders and all that kind of jazz. But this morning, yeah, we had had a bit of a dip. I, I, I wanted to get Michael in in some capacity to speak to the Australian US dollar conversion, but and we I, might I don't still know be able to. We might we might. Put something together and get get the uh, the man himself in, in for a comment because he's very knowledgeable in that field and I, I wouldn't want to, you know, not do the bullion now brand justice and shoot from the hip and comment on that that ratio. But I don't know if you if you're a whiz on that con. No, nah, not at all. Yeah, I, I yeah. will leave that to Michael. I, I, like well. I, like I said in the last stream, I I try to stay in my lane. I don't want to make a goose of myself. But there there has been a bit of a dip and as a result. Oh, we've had we've been doing a brisk trade. The f- the phones have been hot, and uh, the shop has been busy, very busy today actually. So it's been a lot of fun. A lot of people taking advantage of the dip. So, <laughs> speaking of adding to your stack, give us a rundown, Con. I understand you just added to your stack oh, very yeah. recently. Yeah, last night added a, a few ounces to my stack. Yeah. Um, won an auction on Facebook. Uh, Got three lovely ladies, the three goddesses of. Oh, I thought uh, you were going to say the three graces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so yeah, anything uh, Greek themed, I, I just I love it. So um, yeah, that's what I added to my set, the most recent one. I actually remember that for the for the viewers that are unfamiliar with Con, I can't imagine how you'd know him, but he was a <laughs> a customer. So I remember that when you'd scoot into the shop and say, "Have you got anything Greek themed?" You're all over it, mate. So yeah. is that the pro- is that the primary theme of your your stack, or is that more your the collecting itch that you scratch with the with pretty the, much? With it's, the more the, it's more the collecting itch. Um, I started out, you know, just buying some basic, yeah, um, you know, bullion coins and bars. Just mm. uh, is more of an investment thing. So 
um, you know, and just diversifying, I guess, my overall portfolio. And then you just get addicted and start branching yeah. out. And you're like, oh, there's only me, uh, only so many kangaroos you can get, I think, before yeah, you yeah. start wanting something, you know, um, nice and A bit and more tasty. eye appeal, yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah, pe- yeah. people are going to hate this now, you know. It's, it's a couple of new me stackers <laughs> talking about collectibles now. We're going to have to somehow keep it back on bullion. But I, I was the other way. I started with the collectible stuff and then branched out into bullion. But so you've gone... Wait, so you've, you've done the opposite of that, yep, whatever yep. that is. I've already forgotten what I said. <laughs> <laughs> but any, any, people in the chat, as, um, as, as Connor said, has anyone um, added to their stack this week? I'll have to try not to get sidetracked a silver every time Delta. we start talking coins. A silver Delta has added two times 2006 10-ounce cooks. Oh, nice. Yeah, apparently those ones are, are quite in demand. Um, yeah. 2007 uh, was a better design in, really? my, in my humble opinion which one was the bird bath that was the most recent one 2022 oh, okay. that, that michael just cannot seem to come to grips with michael has a big problem with that <laughs> he really he really he struggles with it drink water or bathe <laughs> yeah they just are not interested in bird baths arthur got uh two buyback one ounce coins from you guys yesterday oh nice brilliant good. yeah good stuff the buybacks are they're, they're, geez, going they're going wild. It is the time. I said this to Con this morning. I looked at it and I worked out the price of a buyback at the moment. And I said, we were both sort of whinging to each other, you know. Yeah. We, should, we shouldn't have been, you know, we should have waited a little longer before uh, making our purchases for the week. But... Yeah, just Such is the nature of the game. Definitely got sucked into that auction last night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come in this morning and uh, silver was almost at the price that it was a couple of years back yeah uh, especially for our buybacks and if there's you know sometimes you get some some really nice pieces in there and you're like wow that's pretty close that's a good price <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 it's good fun oh well <laughs> god's, god's money added a few unallocated silvers good on you mate oh time to be doing that as well unallocated has been yeah. a very and it, you know as i've been you know it's, walking it's con idea. through the the process of how we process the unallocated and things like that it's been it's actually, I guess it's been good for you in that sense. There's been a lot of unallocated uh, both buying and conversions going through the business as of late. So it's given kind of good insight in, into how that process works. Mm. And uh, I guess also the value of it in terms of convenience when you're wanting to convert it or redeem it. Um, it's it's, just it's easy, a lot easier, it? particularly if you're interstate, if it's not practical to get into the store. Um, yeah, for sure. You know, we're starting to finally... This, I'll absolutely jinx it. We're starting to get a handle on the emails and, and start to um, catch up with how far we were behind. You know? because, um, well, that's, that's the, well, one of the main uh, focuses that we've got Con doing at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, well, trying to get to everyone as fast as I can. Um, He's still doing learning, very well. Still learning a few things, so uh, apologies to uh, everyone if I'm not across everything, you know, 100%, but... Um, Thank you for your up. patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. People have been... People have been, You've been fairly well received thus far, you know, on the phone and via emails. Wouldn't even know. I don't think I even <laughs> want to know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, well, from what I gather, it's all, you know, so far so good, so... <laughs> if anybody in the chat has had a positive experience on the phone with Con, please let us know. Yeah. Uh, positive, positive comments only. Yeah, <laughs> yeah only positive. We're here. We, we want him. We want him to stick around, and do a few more live streams. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to scare him guest. off just yet. Yeah. Um, we've also got a couple of people. Uh, Brad Welch found a little silver diving for lead the other day. Lead really? equals money equals silver. Good on you, Brad. Nice. Let us know if you um, if you recorded that one because I know Brad uh, has his own YouTube channel and records some of the diving and oh, it's really cool. really interesting. I, yeah. I enjoy it. Uh, Mark Newcomb added one kilogram of silver shot and 10 ounces pied proof. Is that... Am I reading that right? Where, P-E-I-D proof. Uh, anyways... Mark Newcomb added a, a bunch yeah, of silver. Yeah, get into actually. it, Mark. Good on you, mate. Lindsay added an emu. Uh, Morogoth added uh, a kilo of silver. Yeah, everyone's nice. gone for the silver. The this kilos. Week, I tell you, yeah. I've had. I'll, I'll, I'll regale you with a brief story of, of today's um, activities. I had a really interesting conversation with um, a punter who was interested in getting into silver, and they wanted that sort of solid foundation to then. It was actually re- reminiscent of how I conducted my stacking journey. I uh, set up with a foundation of predominantly bars and then branched out into coins. And without giving any fa- financial advice, uh, she a- ended up landing in that same sort of, um, what's the word, approach of getting a few bars as, mm-hmm. the so- as I guess, what you would describe as a foundation for the yep. stack. And then the coins uh, to add on to it. Um, 
just for the event of wanting to trade or for some for a lot of people in the event of um, bartering and things like that which personally I don't I don't foresee in the in, in the near term future uh, but you know it's something everyone is preparing in some sense for whatever it is you know even if it's just to have a, a collection that you enjoy looking at and having and owning uh, some people are preparing for other things so it's it's good to have um, you can make the most of your stack and you know I, I, I really enjoy those discussions and it, it was really nice because they were saying that one of the difficulties you sometimes have in this field is that you don't necessarily want to have open discussions with anyone you know you don't want to sit at a cafe rabbiting on about how you've got all you know all these ounces and kilos and things like that yep. most people probably wouldn't know what you're talking about no nah, probably but, not yeah, yeah i think but, uh what do you like your head gets it grows with your with your stack about it you know? it does yeah. yeah which is i guess it's good to be ultra mindful of um you know being discreet with these things um but it's sometimes nice, you know, when, when we get those opportunities to have a conversation and, you know, you'll get it on the, on the phone as time goes on. It's really nice to have those discussions because sometimes people don't have another outlet. And even here on, you know, the live streams, uh, it's a great place to all get together and chat about these things because, you know, my wife has no interest whatsoever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll start talking about, you know, stacking and her eyes glaze over. Yeah, it was um, good fun just as a customer coming into the yeah. shop and just having a, a yarn with um, chat with, you know, the boys. with you guys. Yeah, one, one of my favorite parts about, especially about the live streams, is that we get um, this unadulterated access to the chat, and you guys have a lot of really interesting stuff to say. We've got um, we've got plenty of people who've really added to their stack recently, so it looks like everyone is adding to their stack. Yeah, nice. That's good to see. There's a lot of robust discussion going in there. I can't keep up, Connor. You're going to have to it is, be it my is, eyes and ears on the ground. It is pumping, absolutely. <laughs> um, so Simbunji is in the chat. G'day, Simbunji. Um, he says, what, what, you, wait, wait, what? You now have... <laughs> What, what, what? <laughs> what? You now have a con and a con. It's pretty funny have, oh, having a few cons working for a bullying dealer. Will your next employees be honor, faith, and balance? Uh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we, uh, we do have a, a couple of um, requirements that we need you to fulfill, Con, though, uh, now that you've officially made an appearance to, um, to, the, to the audience. Uh, right. The first one is to open... A pant box. Oh, you really put me on the spot here. All right, so... so we'll, we can't see. You're going to have to yeah, hold yeah, it out yeah, in the, out out the middle. Yeah, there we go. Let's see how he goes. Oh, expert. Go. Like a professional. Old hand. Well Nothing done. to worry about. It's yeah. just like the other hundred of these I have at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what you call a safe pair of hands, Connor. <laughs> that's, that's the man we want, we want, uh, we want here at the, at the bullion uh, <laughs> company. Well done, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. floored by that Next one, Next time we do a meet and greet, that'll be, you know, like a party trick. Yeah. Everyone have a crack at opening a pant box. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it did take me a few guys to get, to get that sorted. Yeah, there were a few uh, practice yeah. runs yeah. before we started this. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, um, Star Wars or Star Trek? Oh yeah, he just con. What's, oh, what's the story there? Me, definitely Star Wars. Um, oh jeez. Yeah, look, I, I don't know. I never really got into Star Trek. I'm sure there's probably a few good episodes I'd enjoy, but um, yeah. no, I never really watched it, so I can't really comment on on it too much. Oh, well, I didn't know that about you. You're into Star Wars? I, well, I wouldn't say I'm you know 100 percent into Star Wars. Okay. No, 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 empty it would have been the same outcome had it been full i'm confident well look we're, we're yet to do an interview with con uh, for a video so uh you guys get an exclusive uh meeting with con yeah, but a little uh, sneak preview for the for the actual video interview we'll we'll fill it up with some uh with some product itself uh, speaking of things yeah i don't know if it's too early to jump into but what's going on here yeah wombat was asking before what's on the table well what what, what, do, what do they look like matt what do you think these are what do I think they are? Yeah. I think they're silver sculptures. They are. Yeah. Correct. They, they, so these have been produced by the one and only Adrian Ward. He's been on the channel before, once upon a time. I think Michael did an interview with him. It, it was probably six months ago. So somewhere, I've put you on the spot now, Connor, to yeah. you know, go get a link and drop it in the chat. Oh, good on you. It, it'll take, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll tie it. you up for you know next 10 minutes. But yep. he does these really... Impressive takes on this is the the thinker. It's a famous French sculpture, and he's done a take on that in silver. So these are two different um, variations, 
Um, I actually, I don't know if you can get what 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 you're gonna do here, Connor. If you get the camera on it or yeah, here we go. Look at this. <laughs> so that is an unpolished version. Uh, so these it, it you can't get a what's the word? You can't. There's no reference for weight. But it's about eleven kilos. There you it's, go. It's it's yeah. the whole thing is solid silver. So I don't know how you get a maybe if I the microphone won't pick it up. Hang on, hang on. How do you pick it up? Go on. Alright, go. You <laughs> <laughs> struggling, mate. Here you go, here's how you know that it's silver. Do a ping test. Wow. It actually almost sounds hollow. That was a really nice ping test, though. That sounded good. I don't, I don't know if you could hear that. I think, Perfect I think paperweight. This could handle a lot of papers. Yeah, they, they said it was either a paperweight or um, a potentially a bookend. A couple of bookends. Yeah. yeah. That'd yeah be a very serious cool. book collection. Good yeah. All the encyclopedias. Alex the, kid asks way to a, stack. Alex the Kid asks a question. Is he thinking or texting? Well, actually, with these designs, <laughs> oh, they're, yeah. they're actually one. texting. It's yeah. a modern so, take well, on that's David. It. Yeah, a lot of... Um, and if you see in the interview, if uh, Connor gets his skates on and finds it, a lot of what Adrian does is very thought-provoking. He makes a lot of social commentaries and things like that. So... Certainly one that you can read into and, you know, uh, form your own opinions on. And uh, there you have him sitting on a stack of Fiat. Something else to think about. I think that the, the dollar has just been added. I don't <laughs> yes. know if that's part of the sculpture. I think that was just no, put in there for it, convenience. It's supposed to be... Uh, apparently it's, the, the plan is that there's a uh, one-ounce gold um, smartphone that you put in his hand there. Oh, uh, so nice. That's, that's the idea. But these are basically drafts. These are... Um, uh, variations of, of a final design. <laughs> the ping test. <laughs> That's how Matt chose his quality wife. <laughs> That's a good comment. <laughs> I like they got, that. They got you with that one, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'll let her know, yeah. She'll be thrilled with that. <laughs> 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 okay, so Con, did yeah. you see the video that we posted uh, asking for help, begging for help. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? I, when, when have, I, I, I was a wreck when we were in the shop. And yeah, I must have done. You're like, oh, Michael, I'm drowning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And see, people thought, ha ha, that's so funny. You know, Matt's playing a character. No, it's real deal. Wasn't. Yeah, I was, uh, that was not a joke. <laughs> like, we, you know, it's all good fun when we get, get in front of the camera, but holy moly, I was uh, between a rock a and a hard everywhere. place for a little Ooh. while there. Yeah. Yeah, but you're an absolute it's, emotional it's, wreck. Well, yeah, this uh, it's probably a fair assessment of the situation, but you know things things are starting to move in the right direction. So so far so good. It's lovely to have you here, Con. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, it's good working with you. Oh well, yeah, Very you got to say that now. Yeah, we're on a, we're on a live stream. <laughs> this is all going down in history. I, I do have a question for you. Um, what's been your favourite part of um, becoming a uh, part of the bullying industry? So it's always been very fascinating for me you know uh watching all the videos and trying to learn everything about how it how it works and macroeconomics and a whole bunch of things like that but i guess more so working here it's kind of like you know getting a, a sneak peek at uh willy wonka's chocolate factory a little bit yeah. like that so uh it's interesting you know all the behind the scenes stuff yeah it's how, strange how, isn't it? How, yeah. yeah it's very different yeah yeah i'm not sure if you know i expected it but yeah, yeah it is hard. Of... I, I think you're right. Yeah, I've never known what to expect like when I came to work here. And then, I th you know what I thought? Every time I came in, and I, this may be similar to your experience, every time I came in, everyone seemed really cool, calm and collected. And I thought it was a pretty light and breezy workplace. But then one, I, f I felt like once you're on, on the inside... There are so many, at times I yeah, feel like it's the, the, the duck away. analogy where <laughs> on the surface it's all cruising along, but beneath the, the feet are going ballistic. <laughs> yeah, You're now part of the feet. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, um, for sure. We got a question from Brett here. Hey Matt, with, uh, with your discussion on Wednesday regarding what silver bullion coins you would like to see, what about a one-ounce silver platypus to be added to the yearly Australian animals? That'd be nice, and yeah. it probably would make sense. But we've done... They did the platypus, the mother and baby, um, the two-ounce series out of Perth Mint. They did reference the platypus in that. But in terms of re a recurring 
animal. Oh, what Australian animal would I... I think there are others that I would like. I'd like to see like a sugar glider or something. I would, like in flight. Yeah. I want to yeah, see something with a bit would... more movement and something a little different. Yeah, that would look kind of cool. There we go. There's, there's an idea. Perfect. There you go. If you're listening, sugar glider. But yeah, I'll, I'll platypus, you know, that I think that's a fascinating animal. Like yeah, that's the good old the... fashioned possum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, well, here's the question. Which possum would you get? Because when I came down from Queensland, the possums got a lot smaller. They're little ring tails. Whereas up north, they're, they're, they're just the brush tail possums and they are beasts. Oh, Those really? Ones, really? Yeah. Okay. They're, 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 they're aggressive. They're loud. They're, their claws are bigger. Whereas I mean, the ring tail ones are like cute little animals that run away yeah. from you most of the time. I mean, I've seen some the size of cats in Melbourne, but I yeah. don't know how big do they get up north. Oh, it was a bare minimum, though, a size of a cat. Like, oh, bare okay. minimum. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah and right they right. would jump on you. and they'd, They were they'd, babies. Yeah, they'd yeah, take leaks on you and everything. A so. drop bear. Yeah, they were There's aggressive. a good suggestion. There you go. Steven, a drop bear. Ooh. Yeah. Or a yowie. <laughs> a yowie <Yeah>. boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any, any US viewers are going to start getting a little confused. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, uh, something I want to do right now, just a, a little quick plug. I've been uh, taking over the the Instagram page for um, for Bullion Now for a while, or just the last couple of days, and I've been chucking a few um, few little stories there. Uh, I put I put a little message up there say, asking you guys what questions you want us to ask ask our new guy Con in oh, particular. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. So go check it out. The links in the chat, um, and yeah, give us give us some feedback. Get interacting. I'm going to try and just basically upload uh, the day, what the day-to-day is like here at Bullion now. And you know what? While we're here doing all the branding, if you guys want to know um, just when we are going live, you should definitely check out our Twitter account. Um, I'm dropping that link in the chat right now where we post uh, whenever we go live. Uh, and I've finally convinced Michael that uh, he was going to get Twitter on his phone so he might start yeah. putting his gems of wisdom, pearls of wisdom there. <laughs> Tearing up the Twitter sphere. Exactly. There's a good question here. I'll just dive in there, Hit sir. Me with it. On numismatics, um, why do Australian bullion dealers hate slabbed? Last week I was laughed at and treated very belligerently when making inquiries this week to purchase gold slabbed numismatics. Why do Australian bullion dealers hate slabbed? Well, first of all, could you explain for, for me, basically, yeah, sure. what, what slabbed? So, slabbed coins, um, it, it, the, the coin itself is not altered in any way. It's a, it's a packaging for a coin. So, if you see around the, around the marketplace, you'll see rectangular plastic slabs. There are two primary companies that operate in this area. Uh, they're PCGS and NGC. Uh, they are both really really highly regarded with what they do so pcgs i i would refer to more for modern coins and if you were to get your bullion coins slabbed that would be the way to go ngc i like for ancient coins and things like that um both are very highly regarded but generally i can see how some bullion not necessarily dealers like like say us as a dealer we'd be we'd be paying spot regardless of whether or not it's in a slab that doesn't actually as far as the bullion value is concerned, it's irrelevant. Um, but if you were not interested at all in numismatics, that is collectibles and the collectible component that can add value to coins, the slab is just something that on some certain bullion coins ends up becoming a hindrance. Like they'll have, they'll sometimes break the coins out of the slab. Um, but it can, with the collectible coins, if you get a desirable grade, it's a, a grading scale, it's called the Sheldon scale. I don't know. You're familiar with oh, I, know, coins, I, know, I know a little bit about um, you know those organisations and, yeah. and slabbing coins and things like that. But I've got a question for you. Hit Would it. anyone ever slab a coin just as a storage method, or is it only if you're getting yeah. it graded? You could. It'd be very costly. So you're looking at somewhere in the neighbourhood of twenty-five to thirty dollars per coin to get slabbed. Right. And that's so. It's in addition to being costly, it's also very time-consuming. So the last batch of coins that I sent off to get slabbed, it took right, right around nine or ten months to get back from the US. So okay. you you'll use uh, generally a third party, like an in- intermediary in Australia, who will take your coins, send them off. They, ha- they then get processed and then sent back. The whole thing takes forever. Um, and so you could, but you'd want it to be a very... Or the other component of it is you'd want them to 
as close to perfect as you can get. So if you've got coins with fingerprints or scratches, right. you don't want to send it off because it'll just come back and it will say... Um, the grade will come back and it will say details. But it's will... always graded, yeah? Like you've never seen anybody just have some, you know, random bullion coins just in slabs because they like seeing them in slabs. They've yeah. always been graded, right? As in, so you, the slabs that they use, uh, you can't, without destroying them, you can't open them. Right. So you can but get you, them. You can buy them? You can buy them, but they're, you know, the thing, kind of thing you'd get off eBay that I wouldn't put my coins in, particularly right. if they were, there was any value to them. Okay. Um, you'd, I'd only get Lighthouse branded, like proper collector grade um, PVC free packaging. Right. Because if you, it, it's happened, there was a... Staining. There was a, yeah, a issues. big issue with yeah. those um, cheap and nasty slabs leaking. Like the, the in, mm. interior plastic ring was leaking out onto the coins. And there was, it was so sad to see. There were a couple of 1923 half pennies and things like that that ended up getting destroyed in, va- in terms of value oh, because wow. the, the packaging leaked on them. So you hate to see it. But I guess that's a really long winded way of saying. I think the reason why you might, you might find a little bit of resistance or pushback from a bullion dealer is you're sort of dealing with a, to a degree, like a different area it's altogether. A, yeah, it's, would you say it's definitely more of a niche market than, yeah, than bullion? Yeah, um, and different in the sense, it'd be, I guess, if you were to take... Because it can, it's, it's great in its own right, but it, it'd be sort of like if you took a really nice motorcycle into a, a car dealership. And they're like, well, it's a great item, and it's sort of in the same industry but it's not exactly what we deal in so unless they have a numismatic interest and are looking to buy that as a separate item separate from bullion and separate to the bullion value it's two different worlds yeah kind of like customizing your car pumping like 50 grand into it and then exactly you take it to like a deal and he's like oh yeah i'll give you five like that's, 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 that's actually a pretty good yeah that's a good way to describe it yeah it's yeah you could describe it as a heavily customized car um that appeals to comparatively a niche market compared to the bullion industry, which is so broad um, and, dare I say, almost universal. You know, you can take... A good example of that would be, you know, you can take a, a, a one-ounce silver kangaroo pretty much anywhere in the world and you, you won't have any issue offloading it in terms of liquidity, being able to sell it, find a bullion dealer, off you go. There are probably certain Australian-specific collectible coins that you might get a bit of pushback if you went in with a nice collectible proof coin uh, somewhere over in Europe, they may not be familiar with it and understand that in Australia, there's a heap of demand for it. There's a lot of hype. Whereas bullion in that sense, I guess is closer to a universal language. So mm. yeah. So I've really we, taken that question and run no, with no, it. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry boys. The chat are loving it. We've got a couple of people who have jumped in recently. Uh, Smithy's bullying. G'day mate. Daniel Germano has oh, also G'day, jumped Smithy. in. What a guy. And he's, um, and he's this is a who's who in the chat. It is. It is. We've got all the celebs. Uh, and we got uh, Daniel Germano said, yep, Matt got it. Uh, the Aussie grading company went under because of that leak. The glue stained the coins. Won't say the name, but Matt knows what I'm talking hey, about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I, I, I did the same thing. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows me very well. <laughs> uh, and Sim Bungie has also pointed out um, that bullion and numismatics are subcategories in an already niche field. Con gets it. Yeah, see, oh, Con, yeah. Yeah, Con knows yeah. what's going on. He's, he's no fool. <laughs> And th- and that's that's exactly what um, what I was looking forward to. Con, you were a bit apprehensive jumping on stream earlier today. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but I, I I knew you'd be a perfect fit for yeah. um, for the live stream. So thank you so much. Oh well, thanks. But uh, we'll see how we go on that front. Oh, we'll see how we go. <laughs> well, I don't know. It seems like you're having a bit of fun. Does, yeah. any- does anybody in the chat have any questions that they want us to hit Con with uh, the the newest member of the Bullion Now team? Um, Con, do you have any questions for Matt that you want to ask? Uh, or, or anyone for anyone that you want to ask yourself. Wow. Uh, well, no. Were you asking Con or the chat? Or was I was it, asking was Con it? if Con has any questions for Matt or chat or, or whatevs. Matt or chat? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Matt or chat. <laughs> oh, let me think about we'll it. Come back um, to that. Yeah, come back to it. Let me All ponder right. that. All right. Well, cause, just because now is the perfect, perfect uh, time to ask questions because we're live on TV. So. Uh, that's the, that's the way to get everybody. Here's a question I have. This is a very general by nature. I'd like to know how people watch this stream. As in, are you watching this on your phone, your computer, your television in your living room? 
This is pe- Maybe you can do a poll, Connor. I don't know okay. how to do polls. Yeah, I'll do a I'd poll. be very curious because... Yeah, that's, that, these are the things that keep me up at night. <laughs> yep. It's <I just, laughs> like pole into that. It's actually, yeah, it's yeah. true. Um, we, do, we do have a couple of people today asking, uh, Con, what's the special today? <laughs> What you're asking me what the special yep. is? I wouldn't have a clue well, if there was one. <laughs> I'll tell you what the special is. The special is Con, the man himself. Oh, <laughs> the, the special is yeah. probably uh, like what you said earlier that the silver's on sale. So well, that's it. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it could Take get advantage much spe- of that. Yeah, it doesn't get any more special, you know. Yeah. Michael Absolutely. would be out of business if we yeah, got any more special than the current, <laughs> the current pricing. Yeah, he wouldn't be so, too happy with us. I will be doing a poll, but we've just got a massive flood of comments. We've got PC, iPad, office computer, phone because I'm at work, TV, PC, computer, phone, MacBook, iPad in the workshop, watching it on my phone, hiding in the work car. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. TV, iPhone, TV, phone, TV and laptop, uh, phone, phone. Okay, we've got a lot we're of We've got a lot of TV. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I think Fair a TV is a good I need to get more onto watching watching YouTube on the telly. Glenn in Byron That's Bay is good. watching it from a screen in his Porsche. That's oh, living. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's living. Yeah, That's I hope you're parked. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> hopefully you're not driving. Uh, we, do not con- uh, we do not condone watching content and driving. <laughs> yeah. please, please don't do that, guys. Um, but also, if you're at work, uh, yeah, please don't get in trouble because we love having you here. Uh, so make sure you're nice and sneaky. Oh, John mind. Smith wants to see more Greek coins in future live streams. Maybe Ooh. you need to bring some in. Bit of show and tell. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got a little bit of a collection. Can you tell us anything about some of the Greek coins that uh, some of the viewers may not already know? Oh, man. Uh, you'd have to narrow it down. Yeah, geez. Like, that that's, is a, uh, that's like saying, hey, Matt, tell us about coins. <laughs> 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 How many hours have we got here, Connor? <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Can you, can you give us some favourites that you have then, Con? Uh, all right. So I think there's 1964 and 1963 um, uh, drachmas. And I, yeah. I, I really like the designs of those. Uh I, th- I think they're 0.835% silver. Um, but yeah, every time I see some of them pop up, I, I, I try and grab them if they're gone for a reasonable price. But yeah, yeah nice. I love that double-headed eagle on it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll bring it in. That's that's a nice one. Yeah, that'd be good fun. Little little cons corner. <laughs> yeah, I like that actually. We're filling up all the corners. Yeah. Um, but- Smithy's corner, Matt's corner, cons got one. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> but we, we put everyone in a corner. No one gets a full room. Yeah. Them. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, Tony uh, chimes in and says, shout out to Con. What a legend. Amen. Totally oh, agree. Thanks, mate. What a guy. Um, Wombat <laughs> has a question for you, Con. What's, yep. the, what's your favorite coin in your collection? All right. Um, probably a. have got a one ounce Series 1 Gilded Tiger. Uh, nice. and I re- And the box, the golden box and all... Um, and yeah, I think that's a ripper coin. I, I really love the series one stuff. I think, uh, yeah, it's probably the best yeah. series for me personally, but yeah, lunar series rather. Yeah. Beautiful. Brett, yeah. I, I'll just chime in. Brett also asked that question. So people, yeah, people are really enjoying it. Uh, John Smith says, welcome con would love to see some Greek coins in the future live stream. So yeah, if you bring some of those in, we would love to show <coughs> them off if you don't mind. Yeah, for sure. I'll bring some in. Um, Ron says, I thought you guys were talking about silver prices. Yes, Ron, we were talking about <coughs> silver prices. Um, we, we had a, we had a brief um, overlay of it. Do, do we want to just do a quick summary on what we sort of, how, how we're feeling about where silver is at at the moment? Because it's... Um, yeah, it's, I'm very excited with where it's at now. Yeah. A lot of people, you get you get mixed reviews. Oh, oh take it easy, mate. Jeez, I'm already breaking He's the breaking joint. the oh, studio. No. I'll, I'll just try and, you know, maintain composure while you, you destroy the joint, mate. Do you want some help? Are you good? Uh, yeah, I'll go. All right. Yeah, just steady on, mate. Anyway, while you're doing that, I'll chat about the silver price. <laughs> Excuse me for the loud click noise we're going to have. Yeah, do you need to mute it while you do that? Okay, beauty. So tell us about silver, Matt. Yeah, so the price as it stands is, for me personally, this is not financial advice. It's not what we do here. It's, su- it's, it's such a good, for me, it's such, such a good buying point. It, it, like like Con and I were saying earlier, it's it's disappointing to know that when you've committed to other things financially, and then an opportunity like this presents itself. Yeah, for sure. Like I kind of wish. I mean, I get love, in it, Con. I love the coins that I got uh, at auction last night, but in the uh, when I came in in the morning, I'm like, damn, I wish I had some more cash to drop on some bars. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah. Sort of. We're back on. That. Can everyone hear Con again? Yeah, I think it should be working. Probation cool. failed. Totally yeah, agree. Odd job. I'm Hands off here. the mic, mate. This is how we got ourselves into this predicament. <laughs> <laughs> no, Con, I want to make it clear. You feel free to move it around if the if the item doesn't. Uh, yeah, doesn't... Within reason, please. Oh. <laughs> no. Can't have another incident. <laughs> no, come on, don't, don't scare him off in the first stream. It's so, a very expensive microphone, <laughs> mate. That's Michael's right. gonna be furious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. But yeah, I'd I'd be. Personally, one one guy's opinion. I I would be really surprised if we saw much more of a dip from here. I don't, I'd I'd like to get your take on that, Con. I, I I'm shocked that we're that we found ourselves where yeah. we're at now. You know, because the general sentiment seems to be that there's so much anticipation of of, a, of an uptick, and and to have to have a bit of a an easing once again, I find that very exciting. I think so. Uh, I, I share that sentiment. Um, you know, it's kind of We've ridden the wave up and now it's come back down. Uh, a lot of things have come down, not just uh, precious metals. Um, but I do think uh, it's it's priming itself for an uptick. I mean, we're, we're, I mean, we've been saying that for how long? Like well, all this is sorts it, yeah. of stackers, all people in the industry have kind of, you know, um, been saying that. But mm. I think over time, it always proves itself. So yeah. Yep, and I can I can uh, part of another a different discussion with with a, a customer today was surrounding how you can easily fall into the the hype train on things like YouTube and a lot of social media platforms where everyone's telling you it's just around the corner and there's going to be this big explosion and things yeah, like that and for sure. I think if you if you read too much into that I can see how it can get a little disheartening when they, when these explosive upward movements don't happen you know in the in the one month time frame that um someone is suggesting so it's certainly for me personally a much a much bigger picture um in terms of w- where i view things and um yeah my current position on it is with a, with a much longer view than um an immediate you know pump up like something like bitcoin's done or something like that yeah you're like oh you know, money printing is going crazy. Inflation's mm. rampant. It's like time is now. Where is it? Pretty but, much uh, <laughs> like that. I'm like, yeah. But what's it's going kind of... on? Yeah, every everything's a bit topsy turvy at the moment. It's uh, it's interesting times. Times like these where we need, you know, Michael's voice of reason to come yeah, in and calm us right. down, so we don't go out of our minds. I'll send him a text and see if we can give him a phone call and put him on the on the chat uh, on on the live stream if that works. But um, we do have a question for you, and I know you did um address it. Uh, Matt, um, but Wombat asks, can you see the the price of silver dropping further? You said oh, you, you I can can't? see it. I can, you know, nothing, I, and this is going to sound strange, but once again, one guy's opinion, nothing really surprises me anymore. I think with some of the experiences that we've had uh, in a broader sense with life in general, there are many things that have happened in recent times that no one could have conceived five years ago. So I've, I've learned to adjust my perception of not only markets, but sort of life in general to have a very open mind and be very adaptive to what's going on. Because You I also think, feel a bit more comfortable uh, with yeah. your stack now because you've ridden waves this whole time and you're like, absolutely, ah, the boats, you know, it's been built well. It's ready to, to weather the storm. Kind that is of a thing. very, that's a nice analogy. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of that as a, <laughs> Yeah, that, I, I like that. It, it certainly it, that's how, that is absolutely to a T how I feel about it. You know, when things get a little uncertain, I take a lot of comfort. Yeah, in my in my stack. Yeah, and like, as a result, I mean, you can I've, get to yeah. the point where you're just starting out and you're doing a little bit of TA and you think, oh, you know, you're doing Fibonacci's of when silver's gonna, you yeah. know, moonshot or whatever, and then yep. it just doesn't play out how you thought it would, and you're like, ah, that's eh, just just a price drop. Yeah. It's just natural. Yeah, like it, it will do what it does, but. I mean, if you're doing it for a while, you'll always have confidence in your stack because uh, I think like it, it holds its value and it does yeah. perform. Yeah, um, I th- oh, yeah, that is interesting. You, you sort of there's a, I think there's a distinction to be made, you, or you I, I, you can tell when di- when having interactions with people, you can tell who's been a stacker for a while and who's just fresh to the yeah, to yeah, the yeah. market when when they sort of their reactions on what's currently going on. The people that have been around for a while. They just sort of smile and nod and, yeah, and yeah, carry yeah. on, 
um, and then people that are brand new to it can think... And that, that was me, I'll be honest. The first time, and this is going back um, maybe 10 years, the first sort of dip that I experienced, I thought, oh, hang on. This wasn't part of the plan. I thought yeah, we were, you know, I'm in the red. Yeah, exactly. I'm not. yeah, I thought I was on a, on a on a trajectory that was just a vertical. You know, it was just a, only no. ever going to go up. So yeah, it's definitely a long term thing. Yeah. that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a, oh, there was a question. Sorry to interrupt. I want, I didn't want to miss it. It was just a quick one. Fanta asked if I got hold of two is one. Yep, I did. Oh, oh very good. Two, two is one. Watch this space. I don't know. Yeah, that's, I can't count fingers. <laughs> Two is one. <laughs> um, we've also, while we're there, we got a comment from E Waste Ben saying, Con is killing it on video. It's not easy to speak confidently knowing you're being watched by hundreds of people for the first time. Well done, Con. Hopefully oh, that doesn't stress yeah, you out. Yeah, you're doing well, yeah, mate. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, seamless like a duck to water. <laughs> yeah, just don't break the microphone again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought of a question for you. Oh, hit it. What's. Uh, what's the like your favorite coin that you've ever slapped that i've ever slabbed yeah oh uh a 1934 35 melbourne centenary florin oh man it was an ms66 i love it so i i I mentioned that earlier for anyone that's unaware the the grading scale is from one to 70 70 being like a perfect coin so for a coin that's mm, 90 odd years old to get a 66 is particularly yeah right Desirable, you could say. So that, that's probably my favorite Florin design. Yeah, well. I mean, I don't own one, but I yeah. wish I did. They yeah, look great. I love them. Yeah. Oh, geez, you're gonna go. I'll, I'll end up down another rabbit hole. <laughs> Let's refer don't to the chat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good, but yeah, these are the kind of conversations <laughs> I love having. But I want to, I want to keep touching on the chat. I don't want to do as I often do and get on a um a rampage telling stories. <laughs> Help me out here, Connor. Um, so Joseph question. has jumped in, says, I'm late. Welcome on in, Joseph. Was there a special? The special is our man Con today. Con, Con is the special. But also, Silver's going crazy. So uh, it's probably, probably you know, an opportune time if you've been hanging out to yeah, buy it. I'll tell you what, silver. jump on the website. Hmm? Let me go on the website right now. I'll tell you I'll tell you what's on special. Just, just live. Live with Matt here. Bullionnow.com.au. Browse the store. Go check nice it out if you can. little purple button there. Let's just, have a look. It's a neat little store. Uh, we uh, we like to you know sell sell a bit sell a bit of. We've got metals. emus on there. Emus. Jeez, I tell you what, that e- that's a dishevelled looking emu. That that, <laughs> yeah. that portrait there is. Wow, we. <laughs> okay. He's that looking like he's in all be my sorts. My favourite design, that one. Yeah, ah, oh, something a bit different, and it's interesting to note that, like with a lot of things, those di- like watches collectible watches and things like that it's the gaudy designs that yeah, look a bit strange the... and out there no one buys them when they're first released yeah and they the, all Down of the a sudden line. yeah they become so rare because yeah. no one's bought them exactly so the and production people yeah. go crazy for them absolutely yeah, yeah. Um, kangaroos at the moment this is in Australian dollars for any of our overseas inter- viewers. Yeah, international viewers I think everyone's on the website now. It's not loading for me. <laughs> everyone's jumped on. And gone, <laughs> yeah. hey, you got emus? Um, we do have a question here in the chat from Just To Be Cool. What will the new Perth Mint release be? Um, what's the go with that? Because I've only heard it secondhand from you, Matt. Did you hear it from me? Because I've been hounding Michael about oh, it. Well, like, and I, I just get these... I didn't hear what it was. Wishy-washy... Yeah. I just you know, heard that it was he, out there somewhere. He's very... We're getting I tell the cold you, he's, shoulder as much it, as you guys. He's are. very yeah. good at keeping the cat well and truly in the bag. <laughs> yeah. So, so hats off to him because yeah. I, you know, and I, I, I grill him on camera. But it, as Con seen in the meetings, you know, off camera, I don't hold back with my line of questioning with Michael, and he's he's holding the line. Yeah, he's, he's not letting anything well. slip. <laughs> <laughs> he's no. doing very well. Yeah. We get nothing out of him. <laughs> French but, has a question. Uh, they say, uh, I went to a coin shop and they had Canadian 50 cent coins for 8 to $10 each AUD. Is that a good buy? They are 80% silver. Thanks, guys. Uh, depends on the weight. What do they weigh? They're about 28 grams. I guess it depends I'm on when it's, sure. when it's from. Canada. Yeah. No, when. Oh, when. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> um, yeah, it's few- probably not a bad deal. Oh, but then, if I'm in a coin shop... Particularly if I'm traveling somewhere, like if I'm somewhere interstate or overseas, I pick things like that up almost just as a souvenir. I don't buy it to on-sell it or as technically part of my stack. I buy things like that to commemorate a trip or an event or an activity. Um, so I, I don't get too bogged down in, in, in that term, in those terms rather. Um, 
But with stuff like that, I generally wouldn't... I wouldn't actively stack coins like that. Um, well, how's the market for it in Australia? I wouldn't imagine it would be... Huge yeah, it's it's it's, it's not massive. Yeah. yeah, like because you get things like people constitutional is a big thing you see with the US stackers, coins oh, like yeah. that, like the half dollars. You at I, I like the US yeah, stuff as the, well. Like, I, I love it. And it is, I love them. Yeah, yeah see yeah. stuff like that. You end like up wartime ext- nickels and all sorts. Yeah, of stuff. you can extract a premium out of coins like that because you sell them individually. You know, you'd end up the amount of time required in terms of time invested to you know, actively sell them one by one is significant, but oh, yeah. you can make, yeah, you can get a decent return if you take the time and, but you need to photograph it all, package it up, post it out, deal with, that's too uh, much for me. <laughs> deal like, with people. There's a lot involved, but you definitely um, appreciate it more. Like when you, when you start doing a little bit of that and you're yeah. like, wow, actually this guy's put a huge amount of time into, into yeah. doing that. Like, oh, you know, like you'd be like, oh, it's a bit dark, this photo, blah, blah, blah. And then you realise over time how Photograph hard a thousand is. coins yeah, and tell me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Kangaroos, as we speak, $35.70 Australian. That's quite cheap, isn't it? These are very, very compelling prices. If I were, if I were looking in, into silver at the moment... Um, Mark Newcomb, which I always am, yeah. Mark Newcomb uh, can't find the emus, Matt. Where are the they? Emus are on page one. So I, uh, so when I go to the home page, gold, gold emus. Oh, yeah, they're, they're gold mm. emus. That's what I, I'm. Sorry, I didn't clarify. I do the browse the store, which shows you both gold and silver, and whatever platinum we may have available. We have a question from P. Do you guys get Tuvalu coins like the gods of Olympus? Oh, I wish. Yeah, personally, we we <laughs> both do, but. Uh, as a business, we we do not, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I would have been all over that uh, at fully now for sure. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's something. Maybe now with the combined forces of myself and Con, you know, forming a symphony of requests, we'll start to get a few more of these uh, interesting bibs and bobs through. Because, yeah, I love it. I love those sort of uh, coins that are a little different and the the Norse ones and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's good fun. The Valkyries and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've put the uh, the poll in the chat. How are you watching the stream? There are four options there at the moment, and currently sixty one percent have selected computer, and twenty seven percent have selected phone. Nine percent oh. for TV, and three percent for car. So if you guys want to cast a vote, tell us what you're watching it on. Um, give us give us your opinion. Give us your opinion. Yeah. Check it out there, and uh, yeah. Let us, let us know how it goes. Also, if you are enjoying the live stream and the variety that we got and a new member con, drop us a like on the on the live stream. We really appreciate it. And it shows us that you enjoyed the stream. We can do more of that. So uh, it's a good way to communicate to us and show us what is working and what isn't. Speaking of YouTube, Connor. Yes. We received an unofficial award. We did. Regarding our subscriber base. Absolutely. So I believe... At 100,000 subscribers. Actually, e-waste, Ben, you'll be able to clarify because you've probably got one of these. Uh, I think it's 100,000 subscribers you get a... a silver. You receive a silver plaque from YouTube. So, um, yeah, right. I'm not actually sure who, who arranged this. I, I, I feel... I think this was the same sculptor as far okay, as I'm Okay, so aware. this may be Adrian as well. I think so. Um, this might be another one you need to zoom in on, Connor. Yeah, Look yeah. at all these uh, bibs and bobs we've brought in for you today. This here, bronze, right? Yep. Cool. There you go. It's a uh, bronze. One of a kind. This is rare as it gets. We'll have to display this in the store for <laughs> anyone. That... Numbers one. One of one. <laughs> one of one. YouTube, if you're watching, we're coming for that silver one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are actually about to approach our 20k subscribers, and uh, we we may or may not have a l- couple of little plans involved um, when, when we do pop the 20k. Uh, no, does anyone that's in the Sean. Chat have a Sorry to interrupt. Nice. Look at that shine. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what it's all about, Matt. <laughs> yeah, that shiny <laughs> stuff. It's quite heavy. We should get the scale out. This is. I'm. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. It's quite heavy. That's a, Yeah, these are some very, very heavy uh, statues, actually. Eway Spen has confirmed. What a guy. 
Someone has <laughs> someone has pointed out to me that uh, you can't select uh, what to vote for on the TV, so uh, that poll might be a little oh, bit. Oh, that makes it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> pull your phone out so you can vote in the poll. Yeah, we didn't think that one all the way through. Sorry. <laughs> on, on, on that note, we'll end the poll there uh, with most of our viewers: fifty-six percent watching from the computer, twenty-five percent watching from the phone, fifteen percent from the TV, and two percent from the car. Now we're not sure if those are accurate. Mm. Accurate. Where's um, the Maggie Award? I, yeah, who's pinched the Maggie Award? This is from Gold Events in the in the chat. That could, that could very well be Kerry. Hello, you Gold go, Events Kerry. and Kerry. Thank you very much for hosting us. It was uh, I hope we didn't cause too many issues. No, not at all. <laughs> we, we were very very good. Absolutely. Um, it Where was a is lot that? Of fun. Do we have the Do we I have think, the award? I think in? Michael's pinched it and gone on holidays. <laughs> You were joking. No, he's no, not in his office. I, I, he might be, but I, I haven't seen it. Let uh, me go have a look. Hold the phone. You keep chatting, Connor. <laughs> all right. That's unbelievable. Surely we have that. <laughs> it is Kerry, just so you know. Welcome on, Kerry. Welcome on. Uh, uh, just for anybody who doesn't know, uh, we went to we went to Sydney to do the Australian Gold Conference hosted by Gold Events and uh, Kerry Stevenson, who put on a brilliant show. It was a lovely time and we got so much content. Uh, we've got a lot of interviews in the bank at the moment and we're just sort of getting them all finalised and approved. Uh, to post uh, and we've got a big old super cut to drop and show you all we've got um, a couple of videos out already but we have a big old video so you can see the whole shooting match now oh oh wow matt has um has performed very well g'day kelsey how's it going welcome into the into the chat where we're we're about to do a little bit of flexing absolutely beautiful we're look about at to this show off our, this feels like uh, quite manual. a um like a trip down memory lane displaying all of our Awards and accolades. All of our loot. This was quite exciting. This, I, I think this was... This this would be the number one of all the... Uh, you know, or basically compared to the YouTube award that we've done there. A self... What's the word? Self... Um, granted, that one. This was actually given to us... Um, yeah, by Gold Events and represents the contribution that Bullion now has made to service as well as education in the industry. Maybe if I put the... Does that... Nah, that that way, makes it less way. clear, sorry. No, yeah. no, nah, nah, all good. So this this was a very, very exciting award to receive. We so are genuinely we are all very, very the thankful to Kerry for organising this. And I think it's nice to see the all the effort that gets put into the YouTube channel and what we endeavour to do here acknowledged in such a, a platform. It was really nice. So thank you very much for that, Kerry. And it was an amazing event. We all had a lovely time. So if you ever get a chance, if you happen to be in Sydney, or who knows, maybe Kerry will do one in Melbourne next year. And then we can avoid we can avoid who the, knows? Uh, the, the, the hassle at the airport. <laughs> yeah. other, other people can worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Although maybe somewhere a bit sunnier, maybe Brisbane will do. Yeah. Um, Actually, yeah, I'm on board. But it was that. a wonderful event. Very, very, very well organised and a very enjoyable event with lots of interesting people. So Kerry says you're just saying that because I'm watching. No, that's not the, that's not the case. We we yeah. have said that many times around the office off camera. Actually, so um, it's true. Yeah, we really enjoyed it and we were very honoured to be involved. Alrighty, what else is cooking? What well, else have we got? I um, actually, th and this is a bit of a, a segue and a bit of a change, but yeah. I, I would like to try and do something a little bit different, as you would say, Matt. Please do. We're going to try and do a bit of a, a, a visual task. So I've got um, right here, I've got a couple of notes with um, some designs and coins written on them. I'm going to get uh, each of you to select one of these notes from my hand and uh, not don't show the other person. Okay. But you draw it. You open it up. See what see what the prompt is, and um, and then behind you there are some whiteboards, and we're going to get you guys to do a bit of drawing and see if you guys okay. can draw the uh, the. Look at this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you can draw it and no, then see if each Con's of you got, can guess is that, it. Is that your one? That's there? Con's over there. Okay, so. nice. Oh, we're going to start with Con. Con, you get to have first pick. All right, go on. Yeah, don't don't show. Don't so show is this that. this is I've never played. Pictionary. Is it's that what this it's, is? Yeah, yep, yep. It's basically Pictionary. There you go. Um, we do have some textures and they are... Oh, they're in the monster box. In this one here. Just under the, the thinking... The thinker. This is going to be horrible. I'm not an artiste in the slightest. Well, look, I think it's going to be... Um, <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hairy arm left of screen. That's me, Chessie. That's uh, that's that's Connor here on the deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I've got a hairy arm. That's for sure. 
Um, Matt, <laughs> Matt needed this yesterday for DCA. Yes, exactly, Dark Yeah, Marks. there's going to be a bit of that. Yeah, so there is a spare <laughs> one there if you do want to go through that um, afterwards. <laughs> Con, what have I signed up for? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, Fanta, you're spot on. Thanks for Fanta. making this an easy transition. No yeah. problem at all. <laughs> so crazy. I told you we wouldn't throw you in the deep end. <laughs> Just take five minutes of your time, Con. <laughs> yeah. All right, hit it. Yeah, go go crazy. You, both, you have both seen so your comp. give So to give clarity, so we're, we're, we're attempting to... Draw a depiction of a of a coin. Of the, the best coin? you can from memory, yes. And you're, I'll you're... see if I can guess it. Well, maybe show the the viewers as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And we'll see if people see who can, can guess, guess it. it first. Absolutely. Now I know it's going to be a bit clunky because these are big old whiteboards, but feel free to bring them up and put them in the center or wherever you guys uh, wherever you, yeah, you guys can figure it out. Mark Newcomb says unfair. Connor Matt needed some ancient to square it up. I not needed sure. some ancient to square it up. I'm not sure. I'm following. Am I missing something? Mark? I'm confused. That's, that's nothing new. <laughs> Try again, Mark. We, we didn't get it. Um, Oscar says, Con Kid seems like a model employee. He does. <laughs> totally <laughs> agree, Oscar. He actually does, Mr. Mr. Oscar. Maybe we'll see Oscar. Maybe there's a bit of demand in the uh, in the chat. Maybe we'll see Oscar at some point this stream. Yeah, absolutely. You know? If people want to uh, want to see Oscar, just uh, let us know in the chat and... Uh, and we we might we might be able to drag him away from his very important work. Yeah, we haven't seen enough of Oscar in recent times. I agree. I completely agree. Mark Newcomb explained an ancient coin to draw. That would be that would be bad. I'm, I, I don't think you've put any ancients in there. I'd probably shog him my way through it. <laughs> I have not. I have not. So um, we'll get cracking on the drawings, and then we can. Um, What's in the yellow box? What is in the yellow box? Am I allowed to look in? Go there? for it. Yeah, have a have a have a quick gander. Have a have a look there, and uh, it is a bit of an assortment. Um, I, oh, I've you've this, just got just what yeah. a, what an absolute stitch up Canadian box. <laughs> got a Fijian coin, kangaroos, Royal Australian Mint dolphins. What's yeah. this? Ah, oh, and Noah's arcs. What are you doing to me, here, Connor? Oh, well, look, I was um, I was filming some absolutely uh, some tricking footage me on my phone for for the uh, for the for the Instagram. And uh, yeah, I just got a. a hey, have of we? Stuff. Has this been released? Did we do a video on these? I'm not have sure. I, am I, am I'm not I, sure. You might have to keep that. Might a just bit have of a secret. to. Well done, Kerry. You've just got me fired. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but uh, the reason I picked the yellow box. Oh, is and you got koalas. It was the first time I'd seen a yellow monster box, and I thought it was really nice. So I grabbed yeah, that one. Yeah, Canadians. Yeah, it's a gorgeous little. Gorgeous little box there. When I say when I say Fiji, I'm actually referring to the Shrek coins, which are currently available on the website. Yes, yeah, that is a very strange looking Shrek Christmas coin. Uh, yeah, why, why Shrek and Christmas? That's what confused me. About I have that. no idea. Maybe they. I don't know if any of the films are Christmas themed, but yeah, Shrek's a classic. You know, if you haven't seen Shrek, you haven't lived. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Maybe that's what instead of Star Wars, everyone everyone at Bullion now needs to have seen Shrek. Did you guys know? Just a little tidbit, side sidestepping for a bit, and we'll, we'll get back to Bullion. But did you know Shrek in the uh, in the DreamWorks world was basically if you um, were punted off onto the 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 lame project, the project that no one wanted to oh to, really to work on. Yeah, um, that was kind of what what Shrek was. For, for that company, so they called wow. it when you were when you were bumped down or demoted to work um, on the Shrek project. They called it getting Shreked, <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it it, it came into um, yeah. the meme culture. Well, speaking of getting Shreked, what have you drawn for us? Look, it was a horrible. <laughs> bring it on! Bring yeah, it on! No, we got to see it, it, mate. Got to show us the camera. This is a depiction oh. of a coin. Here we go. Here's here's Con's um, attempt at drawing the coin. You've got to hold it up to the camera, yeah, man. How do you think they're going to see just that? Just given warning. Warning. Because I, I would have butchered it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't say what it is because I, I can't guess it. All right. I'll hold it up. up. <laughs> lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best I could do. I told you I'm a horrible um, artist. Can you give us any if clues? If anyone can guess, yeah. I'll try and guess. I'll start shooting from the hip. Yeah, yeah. Before you give us clues, Con, we'll try and give it a guess. If anyone in the chat can guess this, we'll be very impressed. What do you think, Matt? Christmas? Christmas? Uh, wait. It looks like a Christmas tree or a cursor, like a mouse. Oh, you got to leave it cursor. up. You, can, you can't put it away. Yeah, so hold quickly, it up. Guys. Yeah, we need to. We need to. We need to process this. Yeah, we, we, there's a whole bit until we guess it, mate. Um, um we yeah, got in the chat. Urban what, yeah, is that? Is yeah, Britannia? I'm gonna say Shrek Christmas pine pine tree. 
Tony said Shrek Christmas coin. Lebanese cypress tree. Ooh, e waste Ben. Good idea. Native Indian. Zoom arrowhead. in again, Connor. I, yeah. We need the chat to be able to. I'm I'm at an absolute loss. I'm gonna say it's a Christmas tree. Any any subtle hints for us, Con, before you give it away? Well, you just talked about it for quite a while just then. So, so it was a Shrek. Was a Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> The amount of flack I would have popped my version of Shrek would have hang been... On. No one ever would have forgotten it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're not getting away with it this easily. We, You have to draw hey, Shrek now. Nah, nah. Come no on, way. just draw Shrek's right, While you do that, I'm going to do mine and we'll see. Come on, Con. We'll see nah. if this is any easier. Give, give nah, Shrek's face a it. go. I could not do it. Come on. Nah, give us no a crack. Way. No? Nah. All right, all right. Pass me the board. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. All right, so we're all we're all doing drawing. It's a pic- bit of Pictionary here, and um, we're trying to develop uh, a bit of an idea, trying to make it a little bit more interesting. This is Con's version of um, drawing Shrek. There, while Matt <laughs> while Matt is drawing, he's he's in the back. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go myself. So this is don't get me wrong, I'm terrible at this as well, but um, this is gonna be my attempt at Shrek. Real quick, real quick. Here we go. Boom! Perfect circle, as you can see. Boom, that's a terrible ear. Boom, he's looking like an alien, I'm, I'm going to say. Hey, he looks like Shrek. All right, mo- well, yeah, we know, we, know, we, we know who Shrek is. I've got, I'm ready there you to go. go that's here. all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I was just as bad, Con, don't stress. All right, Matt, what have you got? Oh, it's, for meant to, it's meant to be a coin as well. Let me turn it into a coin quickly. <laughs> Better it's round, yeah. And there we go. Canadian rocket thing. It does look like that. Spear Germania. All right. See All right. if you can guess. Oh, my gosh. Con, what do you think? What do you see in there? Oh, that looks a bit of a self-portrait, like a pelican. Oh, <laughs> Which iconic Australian <laughs> coin is that, mate? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let me get yes, a zoom in on Look at this. Face. Look at the chat. Everyone's got it. Got it in one. Piece of cake. There you go. There's another idea for a coin, a pelican. Yeah, get that one there. Hang on. Michael didn't realise he'd hide an artist. Can you? Can you, <laughs> can you just give us give us a rundown? Explain from top to bottom uh, what what you've drawn and and give us a bit of the detail there. Well, this is you know one. It's the Aussie seagull it's, coin. Exactly. This is you know. A tribute to the Great Emu War. Sorry, <laughs> is that one of their generals? Look at the. Wait, do they actually have? I don't know if I've. Do they have wings? Yeah, yeah, emus yeah. have wings. Well, as you can see, I've drawn the wing. <laughs> it's got a long neck. He's got no shoulders. It's pretty soft. Just straight from head to neck. There's yeah. no. I love it. Well, the chat got it absolutely they straight did. away. It Nothing was, to worry uh, about. I'm very impressed, Matt. Oh, um, that was a good game. I'd like to give myself one point and con zero. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yep, I think I think uh, I think Matt wins that one. Everyone guessed it. Good guess, everybody. Uh, yeah. We got some comments: half dinosaur, half mongrel bush chook. Yeah, that's uh, also fair. <laughs> the emu looks very friendly. Matt says Kate. I'll put a little smile on there for him, just yeah. so it wasn't too threatening. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. Well, thank you, boys, very much for participating in that little escapade. I thought I'd chuck something new in there. Um, we actually have a phone call uh, coming through right now. You're joking. I'm not joking. Live, um, who have we got? Who have we got here live? Uh, me. Oh, oh look at oh, Could you imagine if a stranger had just called in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just put them on the stream. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Good, yourselves? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is exciting. Can you hear everyone clearly, Michael? Can everyone hear Michael? Okay. What I might do, what I might do, maybe I'll hand you the um, I'll hand you the device, the phone. Yeah, nice um, one. All right, I I need to know I need to know Michael. I got a query for you. Tell me about the Australian dollar US dollar situation in relation to spot. Uh, are we talking short term, or are you talking just generally? In terms of what's going on at the moment, like that we've seen the, the the drop overnight. So, well, they're different things. So, oh, well, yeah, you know, regale me with an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I'm, I'm assuming I'm on live stream because no one has actually told me that that's what we actually are. Oh, um, so Connor's just throwing you in the no, deep no, end. No, I've, I've Such is the nature of live stream, though. <laughs> welcome, welcome to live TV, Michael. Alrighty. So, um, what you're talking about is two different things. So, the Australian dollar US dollar ratio that we've seen at the moment, um, you're seeing the Australian dollar weaken slightly, although not as much as we're expecting. Um, and that puts an upward pressure in Australian dollar terms, um, puts an upward pressure on pricing of commodities because all commodities are priced in US dollars. Um, so if the Australian dollar begins to means that gold, silver, um, all those other commodities become more expensive in Australian dollar cents. But we saw the um, commodity prices come off last night. Now, that's been... The Australian market has been shielded a little bit by a drop in the Australian dollar. But the drop in the commodity prices, in my opinion, is because we've worked through the last 24 to 48 hours, we've gone through what's called a... I'm, I'm being technically incorrect, but it's actually what's called a triple witching, whereas you've got um, stock options, you've got options, um, index futures and index options all expiring simultaneously for the end of the, the month and the end of the quarter and in Australia in the end of the financial year. So there's a lot of repositioning of, um, of big money within the system, um, capturing either stock losses, um, price losses, commodity losses or, or conversely gains. Um, but this time around, it's been people trying to cement in different losses and firming up positions for the end of the month to then roll into the following month, quarter or financial year. So we saw that rollover start occurring yesterday afternoon Australian time. Um, as the overseas markets started to open, you saw more and more the momentum of gold and silver um, rolling over in, in price. And that's where we're sitting at the moment. So I personally believe, again, as we stand and say on here, um, this isn't financial advice, but you can you will see this downturn um, as a temporary movement, and I fully expect to see the price start to correct early next week. Ah, oh, very good. Thanks for clarifying that for us. I was uh, not un I was unwilling to delve into that level of discussion without your supervision and guidance. So. <laughs> Uh, it was something that we knew was important to touch on today, but sure. I didn't want to roll the dice and make a goose of myself. So we appreciate you taking the time, mate, out of your busy schedule to... To put it into some form of context, let, let me tell you what. Bullion now effectively operates out of two companies. Um, and between those two companies, in the last 24 to 36 hours, we have purchased about a tonne of silver and about 10 actually possibly getting close to 12 kilos of gold. So that's how we feel as a company about the price movements over the last 24 hours. Wow. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Wow, well, that's a pretty straight up and down context for you. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, well, so, yeah. So that answer what you, what you were after? It does indeed. Thank you very much. Yeah, no stress. Is, is the shop still there, fellas? Oh, we'll, uh, we'll probably we'll probably let you let you go right there then. <laughs> Thanks for that. So far, so good. Right. Well, you, you keep on keeping on, and we'll uh, look forward to having you back for next Friday's stream. Yes, yeah, good. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks, wait, wait, oh, hang on, hang on. Connor's got a question. You you hold the yeah. phone, Connor. My arm's sore. Uh, Michael, final question for you. Um, how is how how's your drawing skills? My drawing skills. Yeah, can you terrible. Draw, terrible drawing skills. You send him a prompt, yeah, Connor, right. and then we'll put it up in the on the. <laughs> well, stream. Ne next week we'll put them to the test. It's got to be. Better. Do I want to know? Yeah, nah, nah, it's all right. We'll we'll tell you about it next week. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Michael. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. All right, mate. What a guy. Oh, perfect. tune it in. Tune perfect. it in from you know wherever he is in the world. Yeah. That's that's dedication. Now, hopefully, it sounded all right because we were literally just playing it from live speaker on a mobile phone. So, um, you know. Sorry if that was a little bit, uh, little bit there, but it was really good to hear his uh, his opinion on this. I knew he'd have a far more robust understanding, you know, as you expect from the owner of the company. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah, he's yeah. asked, you know, drawing our best rendition of an emu. Yeah. I would like to see. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if you can put it up in the chat or in the um on the screen, but if people can forward their their 
best depiction of either Shrek or an emu to live at bullionnow.com.au. We will pick a winner next live stream. Yep. And we will organize a prize. Yes. For the I best like depiction of either or both Shrek riding an emu. Oh. Or, you know, it, I, it I doesn't, that. as you've seen, the standard has been set. This is a standard. Can you beat this? Can anyone if, if beat anyone that? If anyone can beat this, we'll, we'll, we'll decide as a panel. We'll all we'll put our collective art art connoisseur hats on and um, we'll pick a winner. And that, that's what we'll do as Absolutely. part of next, next Ex- live stream. Extra points if you can get Shrek on an emu. I would like that, just for me, yeah. Yeah. Any yep. artists in the chat? Yep. yep. There's so, a prize in it for you. So you've got seven days. Um, can it be digital? Oh, does it have to be drawn physically on a piece of paper or can it be digital art? Personally, as an art, as a non-expert myself, I prefer something hand-drawn. But if you're handy with digital art, we, we, we I'll won't allow it. Them. Yeah, we I'll won't, allow you it. You won't be disqualified. Yep. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we will factor it in. Yep. Um, yeah, absolutely. And we will review those all on next Friday's stream. And uh, yeah, we'll sort that prize out as well. That's a great idea, Matt. I'm it. full of them. Full of Shooting them. from full the hip. Such is the nature of live television. <laughs> <laughs> so what, let, while, we're, while we're on the topic of art, yes. we've got these statues in front of us. We which, do. Which are a mixture of uh, precious metals, which are undeniable, and, uh, and art themselves. What do you? What's your take on? Because I know I know Michael often talks about oh he likes art but he's not an artist and he doesn't know the first thing about it. Yeah. What's your opinion in, in these examples? How much do you think these pieces should be worth or, or are worth? How much value do you put in the art of something like this compared to the precious metals? Yeah, that's like asking me to appraise a Mona Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 it's it's well beyond my. Sphere of knowledge. As um, much as someone's willing to pay for it. Yes. Uh, yeah, ultimately. <laughs> and particularly if you're talking about items such as these that are, as far as I'm aware, and I've never really looked deeply into it, I don't know what the market is like for solid silver sculptures. Yeah. So if, if let's say, for instance, that there's not a big, um, what's the word, presence of artists working in this medium and to this scale... You're effectively entering uncharted waters. So, like, as Con said, absolutely, it's whatever someone's prepared to pay for it. And if the if the art, you know, speaks to you and it, it evokes something, and you also have a passion for precious metals, it's sort of you know the perfect storm for for certain people. But um, for me, it's a little outside of my weekly stacking budget. But absolutely, it is a privilege <laughs> to work in an environment where we get to see and handle yeah, things sure. of this nature that. You know, I, I, if I saw that in a museum, I'd be stoked. Yeah, I, I'd I'd be really impressed. So the fact that we get this level of exposure to it and can bring it to you guys that are watching the streams, things like these are really cool. So that's a really roundabout way to not answer your question. No, that was a beautiful. <laughs> Con, your your turn. Well, I mean, first off, you could say it's got intrinsic value. So there's always that as a bare base, um, but uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess, I guess like I said earlier, like whatever someone's willing to pay for it. I, I yeah. mean, yeah, they're really, they're really nice. Yeah, sky is the limit. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Mark Newcomb says, uh, going back to the drawings, Mark Newcomb says, my Labradoodle can beat that, Matt. Oh, no, I'll well, prove it, mate. <laughs> um, I'm, you know, live at bullionnow.com.au. Arthur also says, um, stick to bullion, thanks, boys. Yeah, All right. yeah. yeah, yeah, we, yeah we that's will. pretty fair. Oh, that's pretty fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, can a family member do the drawing? Absolutely. Anyone can yeah, enter? anyone. Sure. For sure. Is there a special today? The special is the price of silver itself and our man Con here. It's been an absolute pleasure having Con <laughs> on for the first time. Uh, how are you feeling about your first debut on the Bullion Now live, uh, live, live stream and YouTube channel? Uh, just, I guess I had to rip the band-aid off. Just... Just get in there. It's yep. been a great get way to do it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The sky's the limit from here, mate. I couldn't hear any more, uh, you know, whinging about when they were going to get me on. I couldn't keep yep. you guys at bay anymore. just dive in. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, let's get this over and done with. Even up until the last 10 minutes before we started stream, I was attempting to convince Con to get on. So uh, I'm glad it worked out in the <laughs> here end. Here we are, yeah. Uh, Ewe's Ben says, since the start of this live stream, gold is down $5 and silver is down $0.10. Cents. Keep talking, boys. Yeah, it will do. Yeah, what an effect to have on 
to market. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have that kind of power. That's yeah. us. Wombat says, have a great weekend, everyone. You too, Wombat. Yeah. Um, are there any final topics you boys want to go over uh, today on this live stream? And chat, if there are any final questions you guys want to hit us with yeah. uh, before we wrap up for the day, please Yeah, you do. missed out on Oscar. I can't believe this. You, you wound him up. He's hanging yeah. on the edge of his seat. He I- wanted to... I, Get I, in the mix, mate. I do understand, but uh, yeah, I've been, I've been. Next uh, week, next yeah, week, I want yeah. to see Oscar in the hot seat at some stage. Absolutely, what Apologies. a guy! You know what else? I, who else I want to see? I want to see EDC. I want to see Emma. I want to see Sylvia. Get in the mix, Bailey. You know, I, I want, I'll, I want to bring everyone into this exciting. Bring the family channels. Yeah, yeah. yep. Because yeah. you know they do a great job down there at uh, EDC, our distribution center. Well, so I, I, I want to see a bit more of them. I think that is um, that should be on the top of the list for our Monday morning meeting. Absolutely. That discussion once Michael's back on in, that's yep. good. Should be good. <laughs> what is the special? Don't say the price of silver. Okay. I'm sorry, Silver Delta, but it's the price of silver, man. <laughs> 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 I am really sorry, but yeah, well, who knows? Maybe next week there'll be a special. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what can be done. Yeah, Michael's return would be, probably be a good one to do it. Um. Urban Aerials asks, "Do we know when the exclusive is releasing?" I don't think we do. I don't. I think that Michael knows, and he's been keeping that. Oh, card it's. I think it, I'm gonna speculate. I think it's towards the end of next week. Yeah, I think he's I saving c- it for his return. Yeah, yeah. He hoards up all the exciting news, doesn't he? He does. He does. But like, understandable. Can't blame him when you own the company. You know. Yeah. Do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> what a guy. Absolutely. Uh, any idea when the 2022 Great Southern Land coin is coming out, and what the special, what the special will be included in the map? Obviously. Yeah, I think what Brett means by that is they've done different. Um, so initially it was opal, and then they did a mother of pearl. Um, oh, right. uh, what's the word? Silhouette? Is it silhouette? I don't know if that's the right word. The map of Australia, like the depiction of the map, they did it in different materials. Um, I don't actually know. I wouldn't be surprised if they did some form of precious metal, like if they did a gold or a silver. Um, uh, map of Australia, but I, I haven't heard anything about that. We um, we, we have some uh, some uh, Michael has popped into the chat, and uh, it may or may not be the the, the truth. But all they've said oh, it's is been delayed it's to been the twelfth. To the twelfth. Yeah. So there you go. Two weeks, and you'll you'll get that you'll get that um, exclusive announcement out. If I can get that information out of him earlier, perfect. I will. All right. <laughs> I'm, doubt, I'm doubtful, but I'll do my best. That's your secret mission. Don't let anyone know. Oh, whoops, we've said it on live stream. <laughs> yeah. Well. Thank you all again. We're going to wrap it up there. Yeah. Thanks um, for joining us, Con. Oh, it's thanks, it's been a pleasure to have you on board. It's been uh, yeah, a good time and I uh, appreciate everyone tuning in as well. It's nice to get amongst it and have a chat with the with the community. Um, and uh, Michael will be back next week. So we'll, we'll get more robust discussions surrounding all of those burning questions on the, you know, the macro and micro situation. And all, all of the, sure. the stuff that he's an expert in. So Everyone have an absolutely lovely weekend. And we will see you on Monday with some more releases on our YouTube channel. We'll see you on Wednesday with a Michael's mailbox to pick your brain and pick his brain about all the uh, the ups and downs of the bullion industry. And another Friday net li- live stream next week will be an absolute spectacular. Con, would you like to do the sign out, the bullion now sign out? Yeah, what a privilege. No. Get close to the microphone. Really. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't have to, mate. Too late. <laughs> yeah. All right, you well, can just say bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in, and uh, this is us from Bullion Now. That was good. Thanks, mate, Colin. See you, everyone. All right, see, see you guys. Have a good weekend.